Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and happy holidays to all of you out there in the wonderful world of YouTube. Today on Drawing with Mike, Drawing with Michael, however you want to say it, today I'm going to do a product, um, not so much a product review or a demo, it's kind of both. <laughs> I've had this product for a while, you guys know that I've owned a Z-Book made by Hewlett Packard uh, for a while, and I did a kind of a short review, but today we're just going to do some digital drawing, just because it's a couple days before Thanksgiving, and, um, you know, I've just been really inundated with a lot of projects recently, so I haven't had a chance to sit down and draw traditionally um, on my machines. I've been doing a lot of digital drawing, just sketching and, and stuff like that. Um, also, I'm using a new piece of software called OB, not you new, it's, it's been around a long time, and I've used it. But I haven't really used it exclusively a lot on this channel. Um, I think I've streamed once or twice uh, on this channel using OBS Studio. So I am going to be using OBS Studio today to record the screen. And I'm going to be doing um, a recording here to kind of, you know, in the beginning to kind of show you guys uh, the product overall. Um, and of course this isn't a sponsorship or anything like that. I, I, I've used this particular machine for a while. I got it last year. And just recently they did some really cool updates on it uh, to speed it up and to really help out the overall performance of the machine. So hopefully you guys enjoy and um, gosh, we're like 3,300 subscribers. So, you know, keep building, keep going, keep uh, <laughs> 3,300 doesn't sound like a lot, does it? Um, but uh, it, it is a lot to me. So all of you guys who stuck with me and... and Keep watching the videos and, and, you know, keep liking and sharing. So it definitely helps. So enjoy. Okay, so this is the Hewlett Packard HP ZBook X2 G4. I'm not really sure what all that other, all the other numbers um, are. But as you see, it is a rather large, robust um, computer. It's got a magnesium backing. Uh, and it's got this really cool, sturdy kickstand that you can, you know, use as a carrying you know, handle if you want to. I recommend that. Um, incredible cooling capability. It's got cooling fans on the sides and the top. And the fans themselves aren't really uh, noisy whenever they turn on. So we're going to open it up. Um, we're going to extend the kickstand. Okay, so here is the machine itself. I've already started it up. This particular iteration of the machine is the one terabyte SSD configuration with an i7 processor, seventh generation with um, core two core duos or core two duo or quad core. It's not quad core because it only has four processors. <laughs> only. Each processor running at a constant rate of 2.8 with a speed boost up to 4.02 gigahertz, I believe. So it's a very quick machine. The RAM is maxed out at 32 gigabytes. So in terms of um, just the numbers that this machine possesses, it is one of the most powerful machines I've ever worked on. Um, you know, especially as a portable. It's a portable. Also, it's got a 4K screen with the dream color um, technology, which is pretty cool. As you guys see, I set up my uh, my XP remote, my shortcut remote. Um, so the dream color, you can go in and you can change the profiles, you can color management, but currently it's on the, uh, on the Adobe RGB, and based upon the website, it's got 100% of the gamut of the RGB uh, color profile, which is really good. So in terms of color, there is no issue with color. If you look, the screen isn't like bouncing, you know, making my eyes melt in terms of resolution because it's got a, a matte screen. Uh, it's not a protector. It's the actual screen has been etched. So it gives a little bit of uh, texture whenever you draw on it, which is absolutely incredible. Um, one of the things that I think is uh, one of the best qualities of this machine is the fact that it uses Wacom. Wacom technology. It uses Wacom technology probably a couple generations back, so it has just over 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is perfectly fine. It doesn't use the Pro Pen 2 technology, which is what the Cintiq um, Mobile Studio Pro uses, and some of the higher end um, 
Wacom products. Uh, I've used Wacom all the way back since, gosh, 98, 97, 98. Um, and frankly, I, I did fine back then with the pressure sensitivity. It's a little more fluid with the more pressure levels that you have, but at the end of the day, uh, that the pressure sensitivity and the levels, the levels of pressure only affects you whenever your brush gets past a certain uh, pixel point. Um, you know, and then even then, once it gets past 500, your processors really have a hard time processing it anyway. Here's the pen, the pen that it came in, a leather, it came in a leather. I'm not, actually, yeah, it is leather. It's real leather. A leather case, which is really cool here, the nibs that come with it. It comes with uh, like a felt tip, and then the other two are plastic. Um, and then a little remover in here that you stick it into, and then you can just pry it out. Um, <clears throat> So I typically keep it in the case. It also has this handy dandy little thing on the left hand side right here that comes out. And it's a, it's a pen holder. <laughs> so it goes right in there and it holds your pen. Um, I don't typically use that because in all reality, I, I don't feel comfortable in sticking, maybe for a desktop situation, I don't feel comfortable about sticking my pen in there, sticking it in my case. You know, this pen is rather expensive and delicate, uh, so I don't really want to just throw it in the bag. Um, the nibs team seem to be wearing pretty decent. You know, I've got a little bit of wear on this one because this is the one that I, I use all the time. Um, it's got one button and it is programmable and it's got an eraser. So this is the EMR technology that you guys know and love. Um, in terms of snappiness, it's wonderful. Uh, whenever I first got the machine, it sucked. But after driver update and software updates and everything else, now it's wonderful. Um, what else? It's got the quick keys uh, on the left and the right hand side, completely programmable. Um, I really haven't gotten, I've programmed them, but I've, I've left pretty much uh, the core programming from HP in place. One of the things that you can do, and if you, if you look, I, don't, I do have, I don't have touch on right now. Actually, I do. What is with that? It doesn't want to work. Oh, touch is on. What I can do is I can press this little button on the left-hand side, and then I can turn touch off. So now touch is off. So touch doesn't work at all. Like if I'm in Photoshop or if I'm in one of the other programs and I'm like, I just can't stand the touch feature in Photoshop, I just turn it off. And literally, it's my little quick key right here, church on and off. I typically keep it off unless I'm browsing the internet or I'm doing word processing. Um, the keyboard is wonderful. It's got a huge trackpad on the, on the bottom. A lot of people have complained about the design of this particular computer with the uh, you know little cutoffs here at the edge, but I think it's fine. It doesn't affect me in any way. It's got peripherals. Um, it's got uh, two, two USB-Cs, one USB-3, oh, it's USB-4, and then an HDMI port over here. And it's got an SD card slot uh, over here as well. <clears throat> and then, of course, it's got the Kensington lock on the left-hand side. Um, the speakers are okay. I don't really care for those. I'm an artist. I don't listen to music on my computer when I'm working. I'll typically use my earphones and my iPad or my uh, iPhone. Um, here's one of the really cool things about this computer. Of course, it's got an HD camera here, and it's got a camera on the back. It does Windows Hello, which is fine. And one of the things that's really cool about this machine, and this is the reason why I got it over the Surface Book 2, because I was really weighing both of them. Um, this keyboard detaches. And you're like, well, big freaking deal. So does my, uh, you know, so does my Surface um, keyboard. Well, your Surface Pro keyboard or your Surface keyboard isn't Bluetooth connected. So I can set this on the left-hand side and I can use the quick keys and it's a Bluetooth keyboard and it's got its own battery. So that's really cool. Fit and finish is wonderful. It's got this kind of rubberized backing with these, I'm not so sure about this right here, but you know, the reality is manufacturing dictates sometimes design choices. And this is probably a manufacturing where they sandwich things together and they just didn't want to have to trim all of this stuff over here. Um, and that's fine. And it's it's lit. So even whenever, um, you know, See, it works right here, and even whenever it's detached, it still lights up, which is really cool. And you can charge the keyboard on its own. So, the HP ZBook. For those of you who know, um, this computer does have a little bit of a reputation. A reputation for touting its own... Um, 
power, right? power in the marketplace. We're the most powerful all-in-one. We're the most powerful portable computer on the planet. We're the most blah, 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 blah. I think at one point in time, they would have been. That might have lasted for a hot minute. But now, there are other computers. Obviously, this machine comes in many configurations, this being the most um, robust for this particular uh, release uh, year. And I believe this one was uh, early 2018. Um, now they come with eight generation processors and for those machines, yeah, those are pretty scary whenever it comes to power. However, this is the, this is the real deal. They are so expensive. I mean, the, the, if you were to go all in on the most current iteration, the, the eighth generation processor, max the RAM, max everything, it's over $4,000. Do I think this machine merits that kind of a price tag? No. No, I don't. Um, that's why you wait. <laughs> you wait six months and you get it, you know, at a, at a discount or you wait till Black Friday. Uh, you know, $2,000, yes. $2,500, yes. I think it's worth that much. But $4,000, oh my gosh. I just, I, I sit here and I think that's so much money when it comes to a machine. But, uh, you know, some of the other machines that are out there are comparably priced. You look at the Mobile Studio Pro and it's, you know, $3,000, $3,500. Is it comparable to a desktop? Uh, I think in some respect it is, um, but in terms of power. But the realization is, don't give up. Don't give up your day job. <laughs> don't give up your day computer. So we're in the current iteration of Photoshop, and I'm going to show you the file size. So we're 18 inches wide by 10 inches high, 300 DPI color mode. We're at RGB, um, and then we're using the uh, working uh, RGB, the HT, HP ZBook uh, workstation, which is the dream color display. Um, so we're going to create the document really quick. Okay, so basically what I've done is I've created my document. Um, it is uh, 18 by 24, 300 DPI. So I had to go in and I had to reprogram this particular XP Pen uh, remote to the new version of Photoshop. Um, it just doesn't, it, it'll basically follow your directions. I hadn't programmed it to the most current version of Photoshop. I had done it to the previous version. So that being said, um, that's where we are. Um, one of the really cool things too um, that it has is uh, tilt. It's got tilt sensitivity. So if I go up here to Photoshop, and I'm in Photoshop, I've got one of my favorite brushes. Um, I go over here to the settings, the brush settings. So I go to shape dynamics. I can come over here to pin pressure and um, I'm not pin pressure, but the angle jitter and I can go to pin tilt. Now it shows that it's got a little triangle that basically shows that it doesn't have activation. But whenever I start going on the machine, it says, oh, okay, yeah, we've got pin activation and we've got tilt and direction and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we'll leave that there. Uh, yeah, so um, just to show you some performance uh, of this particular machine, I've got, uh, it's got a two gigabyte dedicated um, GPU, which is really nice um, for, you know, doing video work or anything like that. And I highly recommend uh, you guys, you know, whenever I first started looking around at different machines, I didn't really think that the GPU was important. And what I failed to realize, especially in these uh, in these all-in-one machines, is just how important it really is um, whenever you're doing, you know, work. You know, the GPU has the ability, you know, it, it, it renders um, and it takes the workload um, of the different programs that utilize the GPU, Photoshop being one of them. So if I go over here to... Um, to my preferences and I go down to performance, you can see <clears throat> that it uses the graphics processor, the NVIDIA Corporation Quadra M620, not a massively powerful video card, but again, it is, you know, it is a dedicated GPU and I can go to the advanced settings and I've got it set on normal and it does use OpenCL. Um, I have it set on normal because I noticed when it was, um, whenever it was on the uh, maximum setting, depending on where my cache levels and my tile size were, Occasionally, whenever I zoomed in and out, it would get a slight, I mean, literally, it'd be so slight, you you really couldn't discern it. It had nothing to do with drawing, but it had to do with the zooming in and out um, of, the, uh, of the screen. <clears throat> Just...
just for fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the holidays. Um, I know that the holidays are always, you know, a fun time for me because I get to be with my family. You know, I, I enjoy being with my family. I don't guess necessarily to be with my, um, I quote on, you know, quote unquote, saying my original family. <laughs> um, but uh, I still enjoy, uh, I still enjoy the company, um, you know, whenever they're out of school, I enjoy being around my daughter and my son. And it's just one of those things where, you know, I had kids, I enjoy my kids, I enjoy, you know, being with my wife. If I didn't, if I was going to sit there and I was going to shove my head, you know, in a career, then I wouldn't have had kids. Right. That's three. <laughs> I think that a lot of people feel the pressure to have children. I mean, dude, if you don't want to have kids, don't have kids, you know, but I think that you need to kind of evaluate. Uh, I'm sure I'm getting people that are like, how dare you tell me what to do? Uh, you know, if if you're like, I want to I want to have a career, I want to be successful. And that's fine. And I think that those people. You know, that want to have all that, that's fine. Um, just know that. If you have children, too, that, um, you know, there is a responsibility there to, you know, spend time with those human beings and put them, you know, instill some of that goodness that you have inside of you, inside of the kids. So, you know, that's all I'm saying, really. You know, if you don't want kids, don't have kids. I'm not pressuring you. you do whatever you want. It's not my business. Um, but if you do have children, uh, make sure that at least, you know, you give them the time and the effort and the things that they need as human beings. Cause you know, sometimes I think that, you know, we have the children with one precept and then, you know, whatever the reality sets in, then it's like, well, I didn't really want to have kids. And I can, yeah, I, that's, that's a hard pill to swallow for some people that, you know, want to have the career, want to have everything. And, um, Gosh, what am I talking about? I don't know. Who cares? Have kids. Don't have kids. I don't really care. All right. So what are we doing today? We're doing a completely messy drawing of a dog. <laughs> um, uh, for those of you who have been on my channel for a while, I have an affinity for dogs. Uh, cats are okay. I, I've seen, you know, I've seen a couple cats that I really like. I've experienced a couple cats that I really like. That's, you know, neither here nor there. I know some people are cat people. I get it. But uh, I'm a dog guy. You know, I like dogs. Me and dogs are friends. You know what's funny is whenever I'm out and about and I see a dog and the dog sees me, the dogs know. They're like, oh, whoa, whoa, slow down. That's a dog lover. I need to go see him. He's going to pet me. He's going to love me. He's going to say hello. We're going to be best friends. That's the way it is. And that's kind of that's kind of my deal. I, I just like dogs. I like I like how they interact with people. Um, I just I like dogs. So you notice that I'm not having any issues with touch. <laughs> so and plus I've got my glove on. Um, you know, like I said, you can turn touch on and off on this machine. This machine, I think, has one of the more severe issues with the touch feature. So if I were to turn touch on, let's go ahead. We're going to turn touch on. And I'll show you. Um, so I've got touch on. They might have fixed it because I, I typically, I just got so irritated with touch. Actually, touch isn't that bad right now. <laughs> I eat my words. I'll eat them and they're delicious. So anyway, looks like touch is pretty much fixed in the new iteration of Photoshop. But I don't care. I don't want touch on. Screw you, touch. <laughs> uh, anyway, so as you guys see, I'm, of course, trying something new. This is my block in stage. This is the messy stage. This is like, I don't know what I'm doing stage. My drawing is going to look like garbage stage. And that's kind of where I'm at right now, right? Yeah, fine. What's cool about this XP pen remote? I, I had looked at the Wacom and I'm like, I'm going to buy the Wacom because guys, I, I've got it in my other, on my other machine. I use, uh, you know, my 
HD 22 inch. That is my bread and butter. I use that's the machine that I use to basically do my do my work. These other machines, like this machine, this is a travel machine. But in terms of my day to day and what I do in my professional work, I use Wacom technology. And I'm like, I'll use Wacom. Well, the Wacom remote even used is like 70 bucks. And I'm like, I don't want to spend $70 on a peripheral. I just don't. And even though it's probably wonderful, and it is, I mean, it's great. Can I get the same thing, the same user experience, roughly speaking, with the quick keys and the rotation wheel? Can I do that for much less money? And yeah, I found this for $35 on Amazon. And it works wonderful. I love it. I mean, either spend, you know, $35 or, you know, $100, $135. I've seen them for that expensive. I've seen them for a lot. So, you know, I'm just like, I don't want to spend that much money. You know? Uh, you know, whenever you're doing a drawing and you figure out kind of early on that you're not feeling the drawing. Do we have that? Does that happen to you guys? You're just like, ugh. I don't feel this drawing right now. I don't know why, you know? Maybe it's because I'm tired. Maybe it's because I've already worked for three hours today on, you know, stuff in my professional business. Maybe I'm just a little tie ride, tired. Um. Yeah, see, he's a little bit too big on my page. He's too big on my page. Right? Can you go down a little bit? Image. Image. Adjustment. See, what I want to do is I just do this. I <laughs> take this and I go, you know, T here. I'll shrink it down a little bit. Shrink it down a little bit. So typically I'll have this over on the left-hand side and I'll use my keyboard. I haven't quite set everything up on my um on my quick cream remote. So whoops. All right. So I'm looking at reference for those of you who have been astute and observant. I use my iPad as my reference tool. So here's my reference tool right here. All right. Don't want to be a slave to the reference um, ever. So I'm changing it up just slightly, maybe changing his mouth. You know, got his tongue that comes here. Got his mouth that comes here. And if you notice, guys, I, I think that this is something that needs to be said. You notice how messy I am? I think that we need to get messier. You need to get messier before you get tighter. Right, my brush is big, it's not really tight. I've got, you know, I've got my setting pretty loose. Let me get his tongue that comes out like this. I want his tongue to come out. A little tooth right here, his little canine tooth bottom. He's got his little teeth down there. He's got a smile on his face. He's like, hey buddy, you wanna go play fetch? And I'm like, yes. Me and you, we'll go play fetch. We'll be best friends. You can sit at my lap whenever I draw, keep my foot, my toots is warm, right? You guys can see that, and, and currently I don't have a dog. I'm kind of sad. We don't have a dog because of many reasons. Um, we had one pass away uh, a few years back and he was, he was, yeah, he was a good man. That's what I say. He was a good man. Passed away, he had, he had, stomach cancer and it ended up just taking his life in a very short amount of time and uh you know watched him pass away in my wife's arms and the last thing he saw was my face and he was just so happy and he went to sleep and then he went to sleep that was it that was all she wrote and it made me sad um so we've kind of been in that zone where we 
want a dog, but we can't have a dog. Uh, and the current situation as far as where we're staying here um, doesn't allow for pets. So, you know, whenever we buy our house, we'll definitely uh, have a dog <laughs> per se. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a doggy. His fur comes around. I don't really see the way the reference is. His ear comes out like this. And I believe it's kind of, it comes down. So you need to watch how far down it comes. Right? And then his neck comes like this. Right? And his fur here. Got that line. That ear comes up. And the top of his head is kind of lopped off because it goes like this, right? Because the perspective, how the perspective is and the ear starts. Whenever you draw, I think a lot of times um, we get lost in the drawing. If you notice, I work on a lot of places at once. I don't just stay um, in one place, per se. Hmm, that's nice. There we go. So we're going to go here. We're going to say... Uh, <laughs> see, I don't have my... Grab my keyboard real quick. So we'll just put doggy. Doggy. PSD. Okay, good. <clears throat> so I'm trying to show you the value of having a quickie remote, but I keep going back to my. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, you guys. Sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, oops, that's bad. So let's go. Well, let's go back. Okay, so we'll go F. <sighs> So I need to be moved over slightly because this area right here is just, it's just too much. It's just, it needs to come up right here. Here's its brow line. Right, here's its... So this eye needs some, some assistance. And if you notice, I kind of screwed up on his nose too because the way... Here's where the other one should be. Let's go ahead and shrink that down. Got my quick key programmed. Which is really cool. And again, it's... Wacom technology, you guys. Wacom, we love Wacom. For the longest time, I said Wacom. Give him a Wacom, you know. And then I was listening to a um, a review of a particular product by one of the Wacom techs, and he goes, "Let's go ahead and clear the air right now. I work for this company." This is how it's pronounced. It's pronounced Wacom, not Wacom. You know, it's not Wacom, it's Wacom. And I'm like, whatever, it's Wacom. I'll say whatever I want, business man and mans. Tell me what to do. I'll mispronounce a word as much as I want. You, Yeah. So, so then afterwards, I'm like, finger up like it's welcome technology and i'm right and you're wrong and now either way say whatever you want see wacom who cares who cares hopefully you guys are enjoying like i said the holiday season um people are so sensitive these days you know about christmas and everything else under the sun you're like, Merry Christmas. They're like, I don't celebrate Christmas. You're like, all right. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Okay. Whatever. If you don't want, if you don't want that, that's fine. You do whatever you want. Okay. So this is a nice rough. <laughs> this is nice. I'm just kidding. I knew, I knew what I was doing. I've got a script right here. I'm just kidding. I don't have any script. I'm winging it, baby. That's how I roll. I wing it. That's why my channel probably hasn't had a lot of success because I wing it. That or the fact that I just don't know how the words the algorithm works, right? That's just a fun word to say. Algorithm. You know, you're like a villain, like a Bond villain. Get the algorithm. Oh, Mr. Bond, I see you have your algorithms. Hmm. 
Kitty's time once again. I'm going to have a completely complex situation, and then I'm going to walk away. So if you notice, I have increased my brush size exponentially. We're at 322, and we're still not getting a discernible large amount of lag. We're getting slight lag. I'll be honest. Well, actually, we're not. She feels good, baby. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, that's good. Flow's good. Good, good. Okay. And this would be the extreme, whoops, my reference went away. The extreme rough. <laughs> the extreme rough. Extreme. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The extreme rough sketch of the dog in Photoshop. Hot graphite burning action. You can tell that. And what I'll do with this, guys, is I'll just keep refining. I'll just keep refining. I'll keep playing around. I'll keep looking for different uh, avenues. I'll keep referencing my reference. I mean, that's just common sense. You should reference your reference, right? Reference your reference. So let's go to like 500 pixels because this is typically when machines start dying. The 500 pixel mark on a textured brush. Look at that. Wonderful, large and in charge. The textured is where the, the, the computer starts having issue because it's trying to render all that texture. So again, we're not really having any discernible issues concerning redraws you know of how you know the machine processes the information where are we at okay <laughs> not bad not bad not bad again i'm trying something different this time i've i'm recording um myself drawing hello nice to meet you nice to meet you hello <laughs> funny how did you come here okay right click okay good nice to meet you Okay, so on the dog reference, he's got a little he's got a brow line that comes up and it goes like that. So we're going to color that in just slightly to kind of give a little bit of shadow, right? Okay, and we're going to come back here. I'm not drawing in the fur per se. I'm just drawing in directional lines right now because, again, it is a rough, rough sketch because I like it rough. No, no, no I don't like, I don't like drawing rough. I like drawing easy. I like keeping it easy. I like taking my time. Hello, I like taking my time. That's what I like. I can bring this up a little bit further. I'm going to have the fur kind of like this. And then his nose is actually quite a bit bigger. <clears throat> his nose, you know what's funny is I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the reference. The nose goes all the way down here and then it kind of blends in with the upper lip. The nose becomes the upper lip, which is fascinating. Something I've never... I always learn something whenever I do stuff like this, don't you? Yeah, I learned that computers suck. And then I hate you. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm good. I love you. I love you. Yeah. His, he's got his... What is that? Oh. So that's his bottom lip. He's, dogs have a bottom lip. Right? And it comes around here like this. He got his teeth right there. La, 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 la. All the la-las. Lots of la-las. We're going to have... Now watch. So I've got my quick key programmed. We can go in and out. Whoa! Just a fun, look at that. Just a fun sketch review. Just really quick. Right? Maybe have his fur come out here. His little arm goes like right there. Here's his neck -a -doo. He's like, hey, 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 me and you. Let's do this. Come on. 
me and you, let's do this. Me and you, we're friends. I'm like, yeah, we're friends. Come on, dogs. I just, oh, me and dogs, man. I saw one yesterday online. <laughs> I saw one online. I can't see dogs. This is what I love dogs. This is what I love them. <sighs> dogs. Me and cats. Here's the deal. Cats love me. I don't know if it's, I must have a magnetic field where dogs and cats are like, whoa, I need some of that. Because cats literally see me and they go out of their way to come and rub. They're like, hey, 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 me and you, let's do this. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know, because I'm allergic. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to cats. I like cats, except the fact that they could care less whether or not you exist. Most of the time. Dogs are like, let's do this, me and you. Cats are like, eh, I don't know. Present to me in a PowerPoint presentation. Let's talk about our relationship. I'm not really sure if I want to commit to you. Yeah, you need to pick up my crap, too. All right. You need to also, you know, stroke my fur, feed me all the time. And then whenever you're sleeping, I'm going to sleep on your face and possibly kill you. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about any of that. <laughs> okay, so we're at the rough stage. All right, I'm going to stop. Um, not happy about... A lot of aspects of this drawing but I think for the presentation what I wanted to show you guys in terms of capability what this machine was capable of um, I think that that let's file saves it's already saved so what we you know in terms of drawing you know I didn't want to sit here and you know, do a huge drawing but what I can do um, so let's go Mid-tone, let's go here. Uh, cancel, select all, edit, fill, foreground color. And select, deselect. So we'll come here and what I'll do, and I've got my program key right here. So I've got that mid-tone gray. We're gonna go a little bit darker, right around there. And we're just gonna start blocking in <laughs> what I call local color, but it's not really color, right? Um, I think my XP pin remote has died. No. Uh, uh, edit. We'll go here. A little bit darker. Let's go right there. I thought it was a little bit too dark. And it fell foreground color. Okay, and select, deselect. See, if you notice, I'm having kind of a challenge with a couple aspects of this drawing because I don't have my normal keyboard quick keys and I haven't really programmed my remote as effectively as I would have liked. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and make this a little bit darker. Okay, go ahead and block in all that stuff. It's good. Yeah, I'm kind of using the mid tone gray as the mid-tone highlights. So I'm right now I'm going and I'm just doing some of the shadow work. So his nose on the bottom is going to be darker, right? Over here, we're going to be a little bit darker. Maybe his ear has some sheen to it, right? And again, we've got that nice tilt of the machine. I'm not getting any lag on a textured brush on a 300 DPI, right? 300 DPI 18 by 20 document. Having fun, man. That's what it's all about, dudes. All right, bro. It's all about the fun, bro. Right? It's all about the fun. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to have fun. You know? Oh, no, whatever. Oh, money. Yeah. Not really. Money's fun, too. <laughs> Let's go ahead and zoom in, put a little eye shine. A little bit of eye shine. A little, a little. You know, I really should change my brush. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. For those of you who don't know, in a former life, in a former life, I was indeed 
a singing person. <clears throat> you know, I sang, I did opera, I did musical presentation, I did musical theater. You ain't going to get anything out of me. I thought at one point in time, I'm like, maybe I should do a music channel. But then I thought, nah, maybe I'll do a, a voiceover channel. Ha, ah, gosh, I love doing voices. And oh boy, it's great to see everybody. Ha, ha. Ha, see, I just love doing voices. Oh, gosh, Mickey. <laughs> Yuck. Ha, ah, thanks, pal. Yeah, that's what I'm doing really when you think about it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do some highlights and stuff on this pucho the pucho where are we at 17 minutes left we're gonna get all 59 minutes of it today son so i'm gonna go really rough here and just start doing some highlights with my brush generalized stuff where i think some of the highlight of the fur is here's that brow line that comes down right Comes around, we got some, a little bit of here and a little bit of there and a little bit of everywhere. Got a commission recently to do a, a character. Um, I'll probably do a video after I end up uh, delivering it. Actually, I'll do the video when I'm drawing it. And then I will do, whenever I deliver it, I'll release it to you guys. Cause it's never, and I gotta have permission to do it, obviously. Well, I don't know. It's my business. Do what I want. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to disrespect the person who's paying for it. If they don't want me to show the video, then I won't show the video. But I will record it. And I'll show it to all the people that pay me $5. I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that video. I don't care. I'm that kind of a person. Um, a little bit of stuff over here. Right? Just having fun, guys. Isn't that what drawing is supposed to be? Right? Isn't that what drawing is supposed to be? I made a mistake in my... Not a mistake. There's some changes that are going to happen to my class structure next uh, semester. <clears throat> For those of you who currently are in my class, thank you. Love you guys. You guys did great. Wonderful. But I think next semester we're going to change things up a little bit. We're all going to draw with our opposite hand. The entire class. Through the entire class, um, you know, periods. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not doing that. That would be ludicrous. <sighs> anyway. I actually did do that. I'm like, I did that a while back to some of my students. I'm like, today we're drawing with the left hand. If you're a right-hander and if you're a left-hander, get out of my class. I don't like because you're too gifted. You're naturally gifted. You're in your right mind, and therefore you should not be part of my life. Left-handers! I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. What I am saying is, it's good to switch things up. Right? It's good to switch things up. Good, 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 good. He's got a little old man. He's a partially human little old man. He's a little old doggy. He's a doggy man. He's a dog. He's a little old doggy. He's got his teeth. Indication of his teeth, little highlight, maybe some highlights on that lip at the bottom. Because again, we like it rough. Okay. So, I think that's where we're going to land today. Um, today I'm working on, of course, the HP ZBook X2 G4. <laughs> so many words. Why don't you just call it the X? You know, what's funny is whenever I first got this machine, I couldn't remember all the numbers and I would put in Z book and then I would get like their lower end model. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's not my machine. That's not the drivers I need. What is this, Russia? So now I've got it committed to memory, to memorizations, to memories. Let me get some whiskers. Let's get some whiskers. It's a whiskers to share with people. Yeah. 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 Whiskers will come out. I like whiskers. And, you know, again, 
I keep saying, have fun, you will have fun. For those of you who are getting new machines for Christmas, kudos, good congratulations. Um, I've had a lot of machines, so I've got a lot of knowledge. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'd be willing to help you, but I'm not a certified technician, so don't rely upon my advice in any capacity to solve your problems. That's my disclaimer, right? That's my disclaimer. I had some guy, because I it was an old review of you know the the Surface Pro Two that I have. And he's like, you know, the Surface Pro Two's problems are well documented. Maybe you should have done some research before you went out and bought this machine. I'm just saying, that's all. And I wanted to get back with him. Hey, bro. This uh, this review is like four years old. So why don't you do a little research and read the documentation before you start criticizing my review? Actually, I said that inside. I didn't say it outside. I didn't say it outside. I promise I didn't say it outside. I think the reality is that some of the reviews I have on there are quite old. So just take that. If you guys are looking around, you see some of the old reviews, just know that I have a little bit more knowledge now than I did back in the day. Sigh a little bit more. It has a little bit more character in it. See, oh gosh, you said you just want to kiss him. Um, you know, now that I know that these the uh, you know the HP, not the HP, but the uh, whoops, let's go back. The Surface Pro Two. Man, what is going on? Surface Pro Two did have some issues in reference to the. Uh, the drivers activating the entire screen. So you would have areas that were, were problematic and it wouldn't activate whenever you're putting your stylus over. Um, and that that is something that I didn't know going in. And of course, you know, I complained about it. Now I go, I'll get an email every once in a while, you know, so-and-so made a comment on your video <clears throat> and they're like, hey dude, you suck. Won't you get your review information right there? Drawy, you know. So this is today's drawing. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the process. Um, ZBook. Um, I highly recommend this machine, guys. You know, back in the day, whenever I first got it, I was having so many issues with it. Now that we're, you know, on the other side of the equation, and I've just really enjoyed working on it, especially lately. It's been just a monster. Of a machine you know what's funny is you think that it's a machine and it's not it's actually the stinking software <laughs> it's the software guys it's the software photoshop was such a power hungry you know terrible program i didn't want to use it and it just got to the point where i was like oh so now i'm on the overlay layer and i'm just going to go in and block in some little highlights here and there right Nothing big, really. It's just, it's just highlights here and there. We're going to bring out some highlights. A little bit of contrast. A little bit of contrast. It's feeling good, right? We're feeling good, you know. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, like and subscribe if you like what you see. Please uh, share the videos. Help a brother out. Help a brother out, please. Um, you know, make comments. Uh the whole COPPA issue, I'm not going to really have an issue with because I've designated my channel to be for adults. Any kind of um, any kind of uh, issue that I'll have might be possibly if I draw like Mickey Mouse. Oh, gosh, I didn't mean to mess your channel up, pal. But, you know, I think that the reality is, is uh, it's a drawing channel. And I've I've designated it as a drawing channel. It's it's not one of the channels, you know, for kids. I'm not marketing to kids. I don't sit there. Now, I don't cuss. I don't cuss on the channel. I don't sit there and say, you know, uh, certain things that are questionable. I don't like that. So let's go ahead and we'll go backwards. Um, you know, I'm not marketing to kids per se, uh, but my channel is safe for children. Um, I just know that if those kids that are current subscribers um, – might lose the ability to watch my videos without an adult account. And that's the reality. I didn't want to sit there and have to deal with all of the minutia, you know, with regards to the stinking COPPA law. So COPPA law has been around for like five years, guys. They're just now enforcing it because YouTube got slapped. And <laughs> they're like, Shh, because they had some users that were abusing it. Users were abusers, right? 
anyway, thank you guys uh, for visiting. Um, going to be doing some more stuff, maybe not in the next couple days, because it's Thanksgiving. Give thanks to those people who, you know, got you where you are. I want to give thanks to somebody that really put me in a place now where I, I really understand uh, what I need to do in the world. That, of course, is um, my wife. <laughs> my wife, um, who has helped me through time and time again, you know, she doesn't watch any of my videos, so, you know, I can say whatever I want about her, but I want to be positive. Also, there's a teacher that really affected my life uh, back when I was at Ringling, and his name's Joe Teal. Joe, you know, I know you don't watch my videos, um, but if this ever reaches you, thanks for being a butthole. <laughs> Thank you for being the biggest butthole in the world and being honest with me and my work. You know, I watched you tear people apart. I watched you say things that I was shocked at. I watched you do things that, frankly, I don't think I could ever do as a teacher. But you did them and you affected me in such a way that it put me in a place where I'm now I'm like, gosh, I can look back on my education and know that I got a very large portion of who I am from certain teachers. You're one of them. Thank you for being a butthole. Just kidding. He was not a butthole. He was a really big butthole. So anyway, I said that it's not for kids and it's not. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys and we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm.